Hi, everybody. It is Shelby, and I have big news. Walt Disney World just announced that they are planning on reopening Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom on July 11th, Epcot and Hollywood Studios on July 15th. Now, what does this mean? Okay, that's when they're planning on opening those parks with some guidelines they're going to have. And, of course, my phone went kapooky, and now it won't open up. Come on, phone, open up. All right, parades and fireworks are going to be temporarily suspended. They're going character meet and greets and play areas are also going to be temporarily closed. For guests. Guests are going to be required to wear face coverings while on property. Hand washing and sanitizing stations and signage for reminders are going to be located throughout all the theme parks. Plexiglass will be at points of sale and retail. And food locations where distancing cannot be maintained. For physical distancing, social distancing, it's going to, they're going to have a reduced capacity at the theme parks, the restaurants, the retail, attractions, buses, monorails, and other transportation. As I said, temporary suspension of parades, fireworks, and other events that can create crowd where social distancing cannot be maintained. There's going to be more frequent cleaning across high-touch locations and surface areas in operation. Temperature screening is going to happen at every main entrance to all of the theme parks. It's going to be third-party screening via, via contactless handheld devices. There's also going to be uh, limited contact with characters. As I said, the character meet, greets, and play areas are going to be temporarily closed. They're going to temporarily suspend high-touch experiences. They are going to be pushing for contactless payment with Magic Bands, Apple Pay, Google Pay, wherever they're going to be enabling cashless transactions at restaurants and retail as well so that is what they are expecting from the guests but it is exciting 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 news they're going to open up communication with their guests they're going to reinforce all the health and safety guidelines and protocols they are going to have what they call a social distance squad they introduced us at Disney Springs when they opened. And the social distance squad is going to help guests follow the distance, social distancing and the health and safety guidelines that are set up for the parks. They are going to have signs all over the parks for your safety, wear a face covering, temperature screening, physical distancing. There's going to be signs saying, help us protect the magic. Please limit handling of products and assistance. If assistance is needed, please ask a cast member. Mobile order pickup. Uh, we recommend cashless payment. Please wash your hands for 20 seconds. Complimentary hand sanitizer will be provided for your safety and health. Please, this is another sign I saw. Please do not move chairs. They have been positioned to keep a minimum of six feet in between you and other parties. So lots and lots of protocol will be going into place for Disney World. Once again, July 11th, 2020, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom will be opening. And on July 15th, 2020, Epcot and Hollywood Studios will be opening. So big news was just announced. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to go this year, if you want to go next year, I have my list already started for 2021. So please contact me. My information is down below as well as at the end of this video. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you guys more and more as the summer goes on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.